What's he doing? It does, okay. like, launch. World Cup Gossip is back. This is episode two. And we're already into round two of the games already. The time is actually flying by. And joining me for this episode is Matthew Upson. We have got a couple of questions already from you guys at home. Tom W. Carney on BBC Match of the Day Instagram. He wants to know, Matt, at 2014 World Cup in Brazil, Costa Rica were the surprise team. Who will be the surprise team this year? The surprise team, I think I've already said it, I think in Mexico. I think they're going to produce some really good performances from what I've seen. I think they'll go through to the knockout stage and they'll be a threat for anyone to take on. OK, let's go to our next question. Mo underscore Ali 2001 on BBC Match of the Day Instagram wants to know, who do you think will be the top scorer in the tournament? If you're going to go off and start, you'd have to say <laughs> Ronaldo. Um, we we'll see more of that celebration. Yeah. Four goals in two games is, is phenomenal. Um, I think Suarez might come good. I think that eventually that they could open up and, and produce something. OK, let's move on to discussing the England team. They got the three points in the end of their first performance. What were the bits that you liked from that game? I thought we were very direct. Um, we were aggressive with our decision making and, and how we wanted to play. And I think we should have had the game you know, much more under control in the first half an hour maybe 2-0, something like that, but would, wouldn't have been unjust for how well we started. And then I think the whole game looks completely different. And then going into the next games, any predictions from you? I think we'll beat Panama, and then it'll be an interesting uh, third game because the matchup with Belgium is obviously a lot, lot tougher, but we'll hopefully be able to play with a little bit more relaxed, maybe express ourselves even more, and hopefully produce our, our, our best performance of the tournament. It's one of those where you just want to see us get better and better with every game. One of the other, I say, crazy things that we've seen, not something that we see very often, Matt, was the Iranian throw-in, the attempt at a flip throw. Not something I'm thinking of trying really? anytime no. soon, no. <laughs> but yeah, it, it was interesting. <laughs> I understand like the method behind it. If you're going to roll and get that momentum, it's more like a slingshot, isn't it? You, you might get more distance and Do you and think he got a bit board. nervous? 90th minute, everyone's <laughs> watching. I just think he realised where he, he might, might look down and saw where he was and just thought this isn't working, <laughs> styled it out. It would be rude of us not to talk about defending. Both defenders sitting here, Matt. Who's impressed you the most? Golden at Uruguay. He's just been outstanding. Um, I love the way he plays. He reads it so well. He's very aggressive. He, he almost takes control of situations, reads the play, steps in front. A couple of times uh, in their first match, he stepped in front and then went on like driving runs, played it wide, got in the box, looked like even you know, going to score. That's the thing, isn't it? When you look at defending and you've got those top quality defenders, they make everything look so simple. Yeah, it's because the, the, the planning and the reading, it, it makes it look easy, you know, how he sees it, he reads the play. His, his, his body language, how he plays. I just, I just enjoy watching him play. I think, he, I think he's the best defender at the tournament. And what about Pepe? Do you like him? <laughs> yeah, right up there with my... <laughs> no, I, I respect him and what he's done, absolutely. But his style, the, the, the dive. What? Like, why? I just feel like embarrassed. It's, I, it just, it's just cringeworthy, isn't it? When you watch it, I just cringe and think, how can you throw yourself on the floor holding your face when somebody taps you on the back? Yep. That's a wrap from us. Episode two is done, but we do need your comments. We want you to get involved and we will read them out in episode three.